welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new i beg you to please subscribe like comment and hit the notification button so that my upload that was was and if sweetie you are a returner thank you thank you very much for the support i really really appreciate it so today i am talking about me living with uh, scoliosis for 11 years so i'm gonna start from way I found out about it, um, things that I went through, and we see Manje and Kapataya Ganjam. Okay, so um, it was 2009. Yeah, so it's 2009 when my mom and I went to the doctor because um, I was not okay. I had a flu. So, Poma, we met this lady. Then Wabi's mama, then she started telling her, Ukuti, I'm not okay, and I need to see a doctor as soon as possible. So, me being a child, mama and Jela, I get to say as, I'm like, nah, there's on Jula Lena, it's just, I just need medication so that Mzua Raisi, they say, yeah, pain. Kantangas. <laughs> so, we went to Udotela on Wednesday or Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we went to a doctor and must fear the doctor confirmed Uguti and Giyuku, right? And I need to see specific doctors for for my spinal cord. So I think I need to I need to make you guys understand Uguti, what is a scoliosis. So um it is um what should, I, what, what should I say? Oh, let me just say like this. One, one side of my back um, has a bump or a hump, yeah, which means that my spinal cord, IKV, is it right? Yeah, IKV, IKV, not right. And it created a bump or a hump, whatever you call it. So, yeah, so one side of my back is not straight and i didn't notice that and my mom also didn't notice or was he saying the bump on my back so we went to her doctor and when the doctor confirmed he um he transferred me to one of the hospitals in newcastle you know mom for your corner um they started doing um, my x-rays you know it was just up and down yeah i'm doing x-ray then I'm going to come back the following month and do all my x-rays again. So it's just the thing of me doing all my x-rays now and then. And I remember when I saw my x-ray um, thing for the first time and my spinal cord, it, it was like this, then, yeah, something like that. And that's where I started to um that is where i started to panic i started to ask myself questions that is you know okay i'm dying like because they keep doing my x-rays and they're not giving me anything like they didn't give me medication at that time so um 2010 I think it was around January or February. I was transferred to Peace and Respect, one of the hospitals in Peace and Respect. My fear corner, I'm my X-rays for the game. You know, the more I keep doing I'm my X-rays, the more stressed and the more about Guti, Yashona Pela. Because why I could tata more than three months, Guti be born, Guti Yini King. Okay, also in Kulili, six months because I found out about it. So, also in Kulili, six months, 2010, of February, I'm still doing x rays. Um, and the fact that I was I was transferred from Newcastle to Pizza Maris bed made things worse. Um, Jay, it's just just made things worse. So, I think it was a piece of respect. I did my x rays for six months or more than six months, corner. And 
um that is where my uh, my self esteem got low because now I used to see on my x rays um would see yes my back is not straight um you know and 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 I used to see people with this thing and I used to I used to see Uguti this thing is serious Mangbuga Ogunimundu so Nakala Natsuga obvious uh Nakala nga Gatada I I I used to pray but I think that is we I prayed more than as in Um towards the uh towards the end of Ubu twenty ten oh no before that um for February while I was still trying to find help with my back I lost my brother um and one pula kulumoya because now Zoyami Ipugile at the same time I need to be strong but I cannot be strong you know um that is where I knew would see Gingeto, you know, because my brother was there for me, even though nah, he, he didn't understand all of this, but he was there. Now that he's gone and I am I'm trying to find help with my back all by myself. I don't have support. I only have I only had support um come my mom. But you know, at that time I also needed my brother's support. So now I am dealing with uh, two things, and as much as in Sasem Nani, but I was not coping. You know, I tried to be strong, but going a room. And I think there is way in that other corner of faker, you know, faking smiley, faking what's me happy when I knew very well what's me, I'm not happy. Um, okay, I tried to be strong. I try to convince myself over the young kids of variety. Um, no, yeah. Um, towards the end of 2010, I was transferred um, to Durban. Then my figure called corner 40. You know, the max race, you know. Why is the max race ganga? You know, you know, more than just me, Why is the max race ganga? Why being a J being the something to drink, something to take, or oh, Msabe J being into something? Then what's in looking for is on my x rays. You know, at that moment, I felt like giving up. You know, I felt like not going back, going on my x rays because I was so mad and now um, I am missing school. Uh, I am, yeah. I'm missing school. I am no like I just miss a normal life, you know. So manga is calling me obvious give in trouble because if we soya is special, I will skip one day or two. Yeah, I will skip one day or two. So um now my teachers start Shouting at me, was in your and I didn't try to explain what I'm going through this. So, you know, um, okay, so, um, 20, okay, yeah, yeah, comes 2011, and um, since it's then go June. On the 29th, yeah, on the 29th of June, I was admitted because now for my living operate. Okay, so I was admitted 2011, day 29th June. So, um, from the 29th of June to the 7th of July, they were busy prepare, uh, preparing for my ex, for my operation, I'm sorry, for my operation. Um... Okay, comes E8, the day for Operation Yam. You know, I think we'll see that was the first time I actually prayed 
unquote unquote look at and I'm safe. You know, I pray to God not to save me, but to bring my brother back. <laughs> I knew Guti that it was impossible, but still that was my prayer. I was like, no, God, please bring my brother back and Nina, don't save me. Because you know, I felt as if, okay, fine. Um Mina, I'm facing two things. I am facing the sting of having a bump or a hump on my back. And also I am I am facing Ushungu Bokanjela um um Uput. So um you know, I was like, God, I just lost my brother last year and Gapa, I'm about to do my operation. You know, I have a bump on my back. It, that, that's just too much for me to, to carry each and every day. Uh, not because the cannot handle it, but I felt as if I don't, I don't deserve all of this at the same time um so i went to yeah i went for my operation and around nine if so i woke up and when i looked around i just knew what the, the operation was a success and at that time i didn't think about anything else because i was thirsty you know all all i wanted was something to drink but after seniority that is where i started being angry because i felt as if you no know, i was so angry at god i'm like god why don't you listen to me Taiwan? the previous year i was begging you to please bring my brother my brother back and you didn't now i just ask you one simple thing to so please not save me but then when it, you decided to save me why i was so angry at god um okay days and ruler i went back to eodini and um few weeks after gibui eodini i was discharged so me being uh me being discharged means with i'm going back home you know i'm supposed to be happy <laughs> i'm going back home but actually i was not because first i was in pain secondly um i was worried it was okay fine magic because e operation yam is a just below my neck um e pants yeah, so I'm I'm worried. Would see fine. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to wear something every day anymore because people will see my operation and they will start looking. You know, they will, they will start staring. So I'm like, no, young katsaga loco. And secondly, I'm in pain. Third, um, I need to go back to school. How and how am I going to explain to people that? because I knew would see people don't understand what someone is going through if so um I went back to school my friend came to see me um yeah she tried to cheer me up and I'll forever be grateful for I I met someone like her uh yeah so um that was July. Yeah, that was July or August, I'm not sure. Then um I went back to school. You know, okay, fine. Me going back to school. I'm not being a chabula food, but I was actually not happy. Um my mom looked for a transport see, that I'm gonna use my new school rainy and um she found it. So um, I went back to school, but then I think that is way I started um, crying, you know, that is way 
I started because during operation yani na kokonke nganga nazo nkhale even though then tandaza even though bengi buzi mbuzo even though I was thinking what he is a shona but I didn't cry but um first in Ghana they used to talk about me because you say it for me, I cannot op I cannot open a door. Um um and unconnable vala, you know, because my arms um I couldn't like I couldn't use them. <laughs> Not that I couldn't use them, but I couldn't use them for indoor is a thing a month, you know. So I was teased. They used to laugh at me, you know. They used to talk about me. So it's just a lot, you know. And uh, having to deal with that. Because 2011, I was 14. If I'm not 13, yes, I was 14 or 13. No, I was 13 turning 14. So, yeah, that was in Uluyami, yeah, every day, Uguti. They're gonna talk about me, they're gonna laugh about me, you know. And the fact that I used to struggle, man give it sixteen, you know, they will all look at me and they'll start talking about me, you know. So yeah, I went through that. Uh man for just calling I'm calling Pasalis Kwama. I remember that my mom was on Tinila is comma that I don't know what do they call it. It's Namasol. So my mom bought me that bag and um still good strong money stones. And my friend, of course, used to help me. Um she used to help me with a lot of things, schooling. She used to go buy something to eat for me. Um she used to do a lot of things. No, at at that time she was she was also supposed to go play like other learners but instead like she was with me no um yeah and i remember this other time it was friday and as you all know with the friday in my class i had clean especially about public schools yeah clean you know they mop the class no yeah so um I, 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 so I, um, I couldn't do all of that because, um, and you know, um, then they started complaining, they started talking, obviously they're not going to clean while others don't clean. And I cried that day, you know. <laughs> I cried because, you know, as I said, we'll see. If you're not going through something, you don't understand, you know. And obvious, they didn't. They didn't understand the pain, of having to bend down, moving your arms, you know, walking, all the pain. People didn't understand, and I didn't blame them because. Um, obvious, Ushun Babogim, not born. So, um, I cried, no, I really, really cried, and that's way they started to see, was he, I am going through something. Um, okay, days passed, I got used to it, even I got used to my teacher shouting at me, for 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 skipping classes and everything um okay years passed um i finished my matric 20 2014 and um three years after my matric i came to varsity i'm still in varsity I came to varsity and now 
I'm gonna face a lot of people, you know. <laughs> now I'm all by myself, um, in another province, and I knew that I needed to be strong for myself, you know. I needed to to continue acting as if everything is okay, as if I'm happy, as if J you know, as if as if as if I'm living an normal life. I remember um during a registration yeah um because i because of my back i cannot climb something high even i'm a steps so i remember that day you see i was going yeah the chairs were like they were up so I needed to go Pezulu Nyoshala. And somehow I lost balance because of Ama steps. As I said, I lost balance and I almost fell. You know, in varsity, maning and they all stare at me. You know, those people were so um they all stare at me. And you know. I wanted to cry, you know, I wanted to cry, but I knew, we'll see, I gotta be strong. You know, I knew, we'll see, I needed um, 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 to be strong. So, um, the rest of the day, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was so embarrassed. And at the same time, I was hurt and I was upset, food, we'll see, God, why are you busy making my life? so so difficult like why would you love benzema you know um papela illustration no impeya kobek you know um even though being in varsity means we i am strong because i'm able to face people each and every day but the truth is you no know, i'm not strong uh, I hate this thing of having to go outside and people will never get used to your back, you know. Every time they will stay. Every time they will feel sorry for you, you know. I hate that. As as much as I know, we we'll see, I am not um, I'm normal, but it's, 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 it's not okay for people to stay at you each and every day, you know. Um, it's it's hard having to pretend as if everything is okay when Kunya Kora is, you know. I'm trying to fit in, you know, because you know, as I said, we see self esteem, self esteem, um, ilo. I don't know if I said it, but yeah, my self-esteem is low. And um, so whenever something happens, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's, it's everything that, Jay, that I'm going through. Each and every day, I'm not confident in myself. Um, I'm scared of people. You know, I, I just don't like being in a place where there's a group of people because I feel as if I am not welcome, or I feel as if because I'm like this, people will treat me uh and you know. And that's the reason why I think I've lost so many people in my life, um, especially friends. Uh, because of all of this, because of what I went through and what I'm still going through. Um, sometimes, you know, in good mood, then people will start saying that uh you know, I have moods, I have attitude, I have this and that. You know, I feel like they don't understand. Um, um, they, don't, they don't understand me. 
they don't understand who see I'm like this because of the things that I went through and the things that I'm going through, you know. So that's why I've lost so many people and that is why I always prefer being alone because being alone means that I don't have to worry about what people say about me or I don't have to worry that people are looking at uh, looking at me, you know, and all of this. And another challenge that I'm going through, obviously, I cannot wear something that I want to wear, but I should wear indoor that Mbona Ibuti will not show uh, my back, you know, will not make my my my, my bump um, visible, you know. So, um, most of the time, I'm always wearing um, shirts or or t-shirts like medium even though i'm i'm size small but i prefer buying medium because so yeah this is okay that i'm going through and this is okay that i want to wake up one day and be like you know what let me just do me you know let me just accept myself the way i am um let me just let me just live the life that I want to live without thinking um without overthinking you know without um being scared and you know so yeah that's what I'm going through but I'm okay even though I'm not okay but I'm okay um the fact that I have survived three years in varsity means with he I am strong. You know, I'm doing my third year. So yeah, I can take more you know, you no, know, yes. So um that is me and my scholars journey and I hope it motivates someone. I hope we'll see people um um will one day have um, will have a man that would see the kulume, you know, they will talk about their problems and what they're going through. They will, you know, they will not be shy as much as I am shy, but talking about this, I feel like somehow it's gonna help me to be able to speak about a lot of things, you know, in future. So yeah, thank you for listening. Bye.